We're not going to get trillions. No, here in the Carolinas, actually, just probably millions, and it's not in all locations. Mm. I mean, even in Mecklenburg County, there will be some parts that won't see a single one. And the thing that remember, there's the summer cicadas, which we get every year. Mm -hmm. They're usually called the dog day cicadas because they come out late in the summer. Mm. Those are green, and they come out every single year in small numbers. This year, there will be a big influx, and they're gonna come out in the next couple of weeks and then be gone. So let oh. me show you the map. This shows you the counties where the 13-year cicadas return. I remember in 2011 when these returned. So the blue counties where they happen, but the individual insects, that's the only part where they're known to occur. So you can see they're not everywhere. Okay. So if you're worried about them and you don't live in those areas, you probably won't see them. I'll tell you a good spot though, and it's down near the Greenway near Carolina Place Mall. They are super loud down there. So the Ballantyne, Fort Mill, kind of Tiga K over towards a uh, Waxall area, another little area northeast Charlotte, and then up towards the Triad. So if you want to check them out, the temperature of the soil has got to reach 64 degrees at eight inches down. We're getting really close. So in the next couple of weeks, we're likely going to see them. And looking at those soil temperatures, this is at four inches deep. So it gives you an idea. With four inches deep, we're already seeing uh, soil temperatures hovering closer to the upper 60s in your 70s. So we're probably pretty close. These are going to crawl out of the ground and they only last or live for three to four weeks. They're going to mate, make all that noise, reproduce, and then go back in the ground for 13 years. So kind of a cool thing. I know they're kind of scary looking, but they're completely harmless. They will not hurt you. They don't even hurt your plants. And no, they don't attract copperheads, even though copperheads can eat them occasionally.